<laughs> now here's the here's the point in the game where um where everything uh uh where you have to kind of wait and um I remember uh I remember being a kid and kind of being impatient and uh and going okay what what do I do here um I I walked around hitting A on every possible thing that I could that I could possibly, you know, find. I was like running around the middle of the room and everything, just trying to find something to to select. I I, I thought I was missing something, <laughs> but then I got uh, I got uh, discouraged and just kind of sat for a moment, and then and then this happened. <laughs> Get some bread. So while we're waiting for the uh, for the next event to happen, um, wow, this is happening a lot faster than I remember it when I was a kid. <laughs> so we drift off to sleep. The flute. What are we HR puffing stuff? Man, that's a dated joke. <laughs> will, will, I am your father. Nice segue, Dad. Grandpa Bill? The secret of the stone? Do I have to? <laughs> so basically, this is the game's um, way around uh, <laughs> extra lives and everything uh, to kind of quote unquote make it a little bit more realistic. Um, you pick up stones from your enemies, and there's a power contained in them, and it uh, basically, if you die. Um, You'll uh, you'll start at the uh, beginning of the level, uh, going. <laughs> I swear, I thought it, uh, that was such a vivid dream or something along those lines. I don't know. I haven't died in this game in a long time. I, I just got way too way too good at it. But <laughs> my first time ever playing through this game, though, it kicked my butt. There was, <laughs> it was it was relentless. It's gonna seem like pud during uh during this first part here um but that's simply because you know of the uh, of the curve of the game and everything and also uh um <laughs> uh just uh how um how it starts off so we'll go ahead and uh hop in <laughs> gaia mother of the earth <laughs> Sent five magic rings to five teenagers. Oh, wait. <laughs> With your powers combined. I always thought it was weird whenever, um... Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is basically your save point, but I always thought it was weird um, in video games how, like, if your commanding officer or something, like, during the tutorial missions, you know, would always say, you know, press the A button. To um, let's get some combat going here. Press the A button to uh, to to do this. Oh, yeah. There, there's too much going on. Okay, so basically the way that uh, combat works in uh, in this game is uh, you know you have your basic uh, your basic press A to swing kind of thing. Um, uh, B to use your um, to use your, uh, ah, I'm losing my train of thought, my, uh, your inventory. That, that's the word I was looking for. 
What, what is that thing called? Uh, the stuff in your backpack. Uh, all the useless junk that you always pick up and it clutters your uh, your inven inventory. Inventory, that's it. <laughs> so. Um, and uh, you level up by uh, defeating all the enemies in, uh, in a specific area. And there are three stats that you level up. Your strength, your defense, and your hit points. So I just got a, a hit point uh, gem. Which, of course, increased uh, uh, the amount of damage that I can take. So we're going to be fighting a bunch of bats here. At least it's not mice. I don't think... I'm trying to remember. Giant eyes. <laughs> eye stocks. Tentacle monsters. Uh, it'll blow away certain portions of the screen. <laughs> Some enemies will... Uh, uh, we'll shoot things at you. I'll go ahead and... You can block it by twirling your flute. Yes, you're fighting with your flute. <laughs> that's that's what you're doing. Okay. Also, um, uh, if you'll remember moving the statue, you use the same power to uh, grab um, uh, these gems that uh, monsters will leave. Telekinesis. But uh, the three stats that are increased are fairly uh, fairly straightforward. You have your hit points, your strength, and your defense. Your strength obviously will increase the amount of damage that you do to enemies, and your defense will increase or decrease the amount of damage enemies do to you. All right, so we got some statues here. They look an awful lot like uh, the statues from. <laughs> Oh, what's this? What? Ah, get it away from me! Get it away from me! Ah, get away! What? Are, it spoke to me? Ah, what is that? What is it? Oh, get away from me! Ow! <laughs> I actually know exactly what it is, and... <laughs> But uh, we'll we'll leave that for for the time being. <laughs> skeletons. What what reanimates the skeletons in uh, in this game? I always wondered that. Oh. Let's see here. And what what keeps these metal balls going around and around? So yeah, your basic attack, A, just mashing it, it's fairly straightforward. You can do a, a jump attack, like that, and then there are some special attacks that you can uh, that you can get later on in the game. And we get our defense. Alright. enemies here. I remember the first time I played through this, those spears just completely rocked my world. It was, it was, it was embarrassing. <laughs> And then getting stuck in that area there, that was, <laughs> with all of those spike balls, they, uh, they stunk. <laughs> Alright, gotta hop on that switch there to open the door. A red jewel. Send that off to the jeweler. Those little little blue flames are, are supposed to be spirits in the game, so you know. I don't know why there's just a random spirit sitting in the corner telling me how to... <laughs> um, what, uh, what gems do, but okay, sure, whatever, we'll go with it. Alright. Little, little flower there. 
Try playing the flute. Play the melody. Okay. attack during this. <laughs> uh, uh. 